Hello friends, hope you are having a fantastic day today. So now we are going to do an awesome lead code problem. So without any delay, let's get started. So the lead code problem we are going to solve today is called search in a 2D matrix. Now we can see that this one is a lead code medium problem and also an extremely well like problem on lead code. Also really popular among top tier IT companies. Basically, we are given an M cross N integer matrix and we are told that it contains two important properties. First property is that each row is sorted in non decreasing order. And next thing is that the first integer of each row is greater than the last integer of previous row, which means even the columns are also going to be sorted in an increasing order. Now we are given an integer target and we need to return true if the target exists inside this given matrix and false if it is not present inside the matrix. Also, we are told to solve this problem in big of logarithmic m cross n time complexity. So now let's try to understand this with an example. Suppose this is an m cross n matrix we are given where m is equal to 3 and n is equal to 4 and we are told that target value is 3. So now let's first quickly assess the properties. We can see that every single row is in sorted order and we are also being told that the last element of any particular row is smaller than the next element inside this uh, next row and so that eventually makes the columns sorted as well okay and we can see that in this case this 3 is clearly present inside this given m cross n matrix so we need to return true they are saying that the 3 is present but if we are being asked the target to be like something like 37 then that is not present so we need to return false okay so let's try to quickly see that what are the different approaches we can take to solve this problem. For the brute force solution, we don't need to do anything since this is an M cross N matrix. All we can do is just simply iterate over the given matrix one by one in a normal sequence, which, which can be done using two loops and then try to see if the target value is present or not. If the target value is present, return the true immediately. And if we don't find and we reach to the end of this given uh, list or given matrix and we don't find the target value, then we need to return false. This brute force solution would work as expected. But the thing is the time complexity is going to be big O of M cross N because we are iterating over all of these 12 characters that are present inside the matrix. So we need to speed things up. Number one thing I'm suggesting is that we know the target value we are trying to find is three. We also know that the entire rows are for sure sorted. We also know that all of the columns are also sorted. So one approach we can take is that we compare the columns and based on the column values, we check that under which row should this target value be presented. So we can clearly see that when we compare the first element in this column versus the first element, sorry, first element in this row versus the first element in this row, we can see that the target value three lies somewhere between column one and uh, sorry, row one and row two, which means if the target value is present, it has to be present inside this first row. So once we find that information after that, all we need to do is just simply do a binary search in this operation. So now we only have one row that we need to worry about. So now we can actually solve this problem using a simple binary search where all we have is a starting pointer and ending pointer. The target value we are given is three. So we first try to find the middle pointer. Middle pointer in this case is going to be five. So this is not the target value and the target value is less than the middle pointer we find, which means target value has to reside somewhere over here. So once again, we repeat the same operation. We update our end pointer. And then once again, we do the binary search. We find the middle pointer and then we simply return saying that yes true the given target value is present inside the given list so let's try to see that uh, what is going to be the time complexity in this case so time complexity would be inside the given corresponding row we will have to do and log n cross m work so this solution would give us the desired result but the thing is we are doing an intermediary step in between to solve this problem so let's try to see that do we have a more optimal solution than this one as well and yes, we actually have a better optimal solution. The idea is we already know that every single rows are sorted. 
we also know that every single columns are sorted which means the last value of any row is always going to be less than the first value of the subsequent row so logically instead of treating this as a 2d matrix if we just try to understand this in a one dimensional direction we can actually see that this is a perfect example of completely sorted 1, 1d array that is currently represented inside the 2d environment and we can plot all of these 12 values inside this given graph this is just a one dimensional representation of this 2d array and we can see that this is a fully sorted array now if we have to find the target value let's say 3 in this case the solution becomes quite obvious all we need to do is just a normal binary search and we can we should be able to find the result but the thing is we don't want to create an additional array we wants to do the binary search treating as if this 2d array was 1d array in this one so once again we can also do that for that all we need to do is just we might have to play around with the starting and ending pointers so initially our starting pointer is going to reside over here and our ending pointer is going to reside over here we will need to find the middle pointers so now if we have to find the mid pointer the 16 is going to be the mid pointer so compare 16 with our target value and we can see that the uh, target value is actually smaller than the mid pointer we find which means we will have to update our end pointer to come one value before the mid pointer because this is also not the target value so once again now we have our new starting pointer uh, starting pointer is the same and we have our new ending pointer once again we are going to find the mid value mid value in this case would be value number five once again we can see that because this value number five is greater so once again we are going to update our end pointer so end pointer is going to be over here start pointer is going to be over here once again we do the binary search and we should be able to find the target value to be value number three and that's it this is what we need to do and this is the much better approach than brute force approach and also a step improvement on our better approach that we saw time complexity for sure it is going to be big o of uh, log n m cross n and we are not using any extra space so space complexity is going to be constant space which means this is a really good approach and now let's quickly see the coding solution for this one So first of all, we are going to define our M and N based on the given matrix value. We are also going to initialize two variables, left pointer and right pointer. Left pointer is going to be at the very first position inside the given matrix. Right pointer is going to be on the very last position of the given matrix. Then we are going to run our while loop. During the while loop, first thing we are going to do is to find our mid pointer. After finding the mid pointer, we will also have to point that mid value inside our given matrix because remember the mid pointer is a single 1D value. Meanwhile, the uh, we are given the 2D matrix. So that we can do by doing the division of mid pointer with the value 9 and be doing the uh, modulo or with 9 or finding the remainder value so this is going to give us the exact value of the mid what the mid pointer should be uh, in a 2d array and then we simply do our binary search and based on that we update and manipulate the uh, left pointer and right pointer values and in the end if we do find the target value it should have been returned through here if it is not present then we can simply return false so let's try to run this code Okay, seems like our solution is working as expected. Let's submit this code. And our code runs 100% faster than all the other solutions, which is pretty awesome. This is also an excellent use of space complexity as well. So once again, the solution is present in the GitHub repository that we have created. And the link is in the description. You should be able to find it from there.